is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you guys doing today? Doing great, man. How you been? Oh, great. I really appreciate you and Tommy. You do a great job, great work, and I really appreciate it. I watch you every day. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Let's go to uh, Sylvia in Tampa. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking my call. I want to tell you thank you so much for the advice you gave me on dust yesterday. I exited when you told me, and I made a, I made a healthy profit for, That's awesome. for a very short period. So thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Great night. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to do your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have a perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 2, NASDAQ up 28, S&Ps up 8, gold contract flat, 12.01 an ounce, silver, $14.07 an ounce, Light Sweet Crew down 24 cents, $67.51 a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note flat, 119.71. 30-year bond up five ticks, 143.16. King Dollar, King Dollar down 214 ticks, trading 95.111. The Euro is at 115.97 to one U.S. dollar. The Yen is at 111.21 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's go take a look at it. We take a look at the SPY. What you have with the SPY out here, folks, is that you get a sideways market out here. You've done 30 million shares. Had a high out here today of 289. We're at uh, 288.46. Uh, you get a big contraction of volume. Uh, 30 million shares. We went down with 73 million on Friday. Uh, bottom line, if you get a close under 288.70, which we're under right now, uh, bottom line, what do you get? You get a failure in price, failure in volume. More than likely, you get a small ABC structure on the way down. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Three Qs, sideways move out here, 18 million shares traded. We go downtown with, uh, 100, with 46 million shares traded on Friday, 46 million shares traded on Thursday, 46, 42 million shares traded on Wednesday. B bottom line is that uh, this wants lower price. Uh, anything underneath the 182.63, you're in the lower range right now inside that NDX 100. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. Dow actually went from uh, negative, uh, from positive to negative out here today. Uh, we were trading up at the 26,039 area. You're down three bucks now. Nothing really big. Sideways move also. That's what it really comes down to. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness goes like this. You got Home Depot uh, putting power into the uh, Dow. That's putting up positive 30 points. United Technologies 14, Nike 13. Big Mac, 10. Taken away from it. United Health, 57 points. That's the culprit. Boeing's the culprit. 40. Apple, 18. We go over and we take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot is uh, at new all-time highs. And unfortunately for all the folks in the East Coast, we're going to send them some good white light. Uh, this more than likely, uh, Home Depot's been on a tear regardless of weather. Uh, but what you're going to see out here is that this is going to be a weather pattern uh, type of uh, move today. That's what it looks like meaning that the, this Florence is coming in fast and furious, and um, they're going to be, unfortunately, selling a lot of replacement gear uh, along that uh, East Coast. So uh, Home Depot right now has the volume on the way up, has the price spread, has it all. It just overtook, uh, I believe it's all-time high. Let me see. Yeah, so you had the all-time high out here. It was trading 207. 
uh, 60 uh, right now at 210.74. And uh, we'll see whether they get the volume uh, behind the move, meaning uh, on the weekly and on the monthly. Let me see. I'll be able to, let's see how this looks. 270. Four, five to 20. Well, if we, if we did what we're doing out here today, it's going to have the volume pretty easy. You know, um, we'll see how that baby does shake out. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have uh, the strength is Tesla. Tesla's up by 6.5% or $17. You get Liberty up by 4.7% or $1.21. Wynn Resorts is up 4.6 or $5.96. Now, Wynn's been a dog. Uh, it's been, you to talk about downtown. We go back the last three months. You just came down from $202. Uh, hit a low on Friday of uh, 126. Right now, you're at 134. Those are the strongest ones inside the NDX 100. And you can see the strongest ones actually are dead cat bounces. Uh, let me take a look at Liberty, actually. We know Tesla's a dead cat bounce. Liberty, Liberty is also, yeah. Liberty, we just went from $33 down to uh, 25. You get a bounce out here today, uh, 26.91. So. The top four top stocks inside the NDX 100 are dead cat bounces. Taken away from the NDX, even though we're up 26 uh, points, you get NetTees down 2.6%. You got Mercado Libre down 1.7%. JD.com's up 1.6%. And you got C-Trip down 1.4%. If we do go overseas for a second and take a look at the uh, China markets and Shanghai, folks, what you are going to see uh, is some heavy destruction over there. Uh, last night, it continued going lower. We had, uh, you had the uh, Hang Seng down 1.3%. You had Shanghai down 1.2%. We'll go to Hang Seng first uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, every sector was in the negative except telecommunications was up one one hundredth of 1%. Uh, we take a look at this chart, and what you're going to see is that you're down from the last six months. You're down from 32,000. You're at 26,600. And if we bring this back, uh, what it has done is got back in the lower range. It looks like it wants to make a run for 25,000 is the next number. That's how this is uh, shaking out. That is the A shares in Hong Kong. We go into the Shanghai. We take a look at the Shanghai comp. Uh, this is trading right now at 26.69. That each and every one of those were all in the negative. This has gone from 3,300 to 2,600 in six months. And we take a look at this on a larger basis. This is big trouble. 2,638. Mm. Okay, so here we go. So we're at 2,669, 2,638, big number. More than likely, we'll go after it tonight. If you break that number, we're going to be down in like at 1,800. There's nothing between those numbers. When we came out of this in 2014, that's where we came out of, and it was a straight line move going topside. Got some problems out here in China and Shanghai, and guess what? That bottom line puts some problems inside our S&P. Dow Industrials down seven, NASDAQ up 28, S&P's up seven and a half. Come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go over and take a look at uh, Tesla. And Tesla's got a little bounce going out here today. You got by up $17, 17 dollars, 17 and a half dollars. You still have a 25.6 percent uh, position, uh, shot position uh, in Tesla. Uh, Tesla had come down from this uh, 387. That was the day that uh, Elon Musk uh, turned around and said, uh, thinking about going private at the 420 uh, price point. Bottom line is that you uh, come down to the lower end of this consolidation. And if we put this on a larger basis, what you're going to see is that in both cases, uh, we still haven't broken the 244, and it hasn't been tested yet. We got the 252 uh, last week. That 244 is going to get tested, folks. 87 million high volume low. Now, what's intriguing is that um, <laughs> what you have out here today is that I don't think this is going to make any difference. But the bottom line is that uh, what did happen is that on the last, uh, with Tesla's uh, space, not Tesla, with Elon Musk, SpaceX, uh, the bottom line is that uh, you have uh, folks turning around saying, hey, well, what's the Air Force going to be doing about the contract that they just signed with SpaceX? SpaceX just did a $130 million deal. Um, they said there's no comment. I suspect nothing's going to happen either. Uh, but bottom line is that, that that's something that's um, uh, it's not out of left field uh, because pot is legal in California, so I don't think they could do anything about it, actually. But uh, bottom line, we'll, we'll see where that shakes out. That would be the larger uh, problem, I would say, that because SpaceX definitely, um, well, we don't know what it's profitable because it's still a private company, but the bottom line is that they are getting some monster contracts. There's no two ways about that. Let's go take a look at the uh, semiconductor index. Semiconductor index uh, trading 106.79. Uh, this baby, you know, came down last week, had vo volume on the way down, doing a dead cat bounce without volume. Uh, this thing looks to me like we're setting up to, to go after this 101. Right now you're at 106.80. Um, Apple was the uh, culprit. It really, not so much the culprit inside the NDX out here today, um, but what it stopped the NDX from doing is getting traction topside. You know, the NDX bottom line is not operating that bad. Uh, but when you get Apple that continues to want lower price, it's a problem. Uh, you've been fluctuating between the $216 to $218 level 
on Apple out here today, and uh, you're going you're gonna to have an expansion of volume. We're at uh, 31 million already. On Friday, we did 37 million. They will put some volume into the close on Apple. We go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, XAU out here. Down a buck, sixty-two dollars and uh, two pennies, and that's uh, that's a that's a big problem. Uh, Gold bugs index, same type of setup, still not catching a bid. Uh, Gold bugs index down two bucks, one thirty-four twenty-three. And if we do go over to the uh, take a look at the good old King Dollar. Um, We'll see how this shakes out uh, tomorrow. But what King Dollar has done out here today is this. It got to a higher high, failed on price, failed on volume, and the high that it was actually trying to get to, uh, which was last Tuesday, it didn't make. And what's unusual about that is this, is that we had good volume on Friday. So, and it's finished at the top of its range. We, it, we, we finished out on Friday at, at 95, uh, 329. We go to 95, 540 today, can't handle it, pulls down, keeps it in the lower range. Anything under uh, 95, 255 is the lower range. So this is where you're building cars. Has a, has a lot of support at the top of the June 14th trading day. That's where King Dollar went topside in a big way. We went from 92 to 94, 605. Uh, bottom line, we'll see how it comes back into that area. Oil, let's go take a look at the oil contract. Oil gave it up today. Uh, this is going to get interesting watching how this is going to shake out because this is remember, very subtle, but the bottom line is that we had already hit the top of the range. Uh, last week, we got up to $71.40. What oil did out here today is something kind of like the S&P, you know, we got above trading a lot of, of the dollar, rather. We got, we got above where we were trading, gave it up on price, gave it up on volume, and it very well could have a small ABC down. If that's what we have, 71.40 would be A point, 66.80 would be a B, so you get approximately uh, five points, uh, which would get you down to that 63 area. And your swing point, major swing point, that is, from the 15th of August is that 63... 6389 area. XLE, we take a look at the large uh, integrated oils, uh, same type of setup. Uh, we came down hard last week, 10 million shares per day. We're at 6.5 right now. Uh, we're at 79, 72.91. And, uh, well, that's going to be wild. Anything under 72.93 uh, would set up. Uh, Small ABC down. We'll see how we'll see how that baby's going to shake out. If in fact that's where we're going to be uh, closing out uh, today. Some of the higher volume equities. Uh, let's go. I'm curious as to you know because what what we what we do have now, folks, is this. We oh actually it's Russia Shana, I believe, right? Well, there's going to be low volume out here today. I got to make sure I get the right holiday too. Uh, this is going to be big lower volume. Um, So right now we're at uh, 352 million um, in the NYSE. That means we're definitely coming in with low volume. We take a look at the NASDAQ composite. Composite right now is at 1.5. So the composite is going to come in with volume. Uh, composite will come in with volume. Bottom line is that uh, you're not going to have volume. Uh, inside the NYSE. Take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. Amazon. Oh, interesting. Okay, so here, check this out. Yeah, Amazon's going to have a problem too. So Amazon, you know, we came off the highs last week. Amazon's down 11 bucks. No big deal there. Um, but this is looking to get back inside slightly lower range. Looks like it wants to make a run uh, into this uh, 1916 area. Right now you're at 1940. Uh, Facebook, Facebook wants lower price. Facebook, uh, just the buyers are gone. We're at 164. Facebook looks like it wants to go to 149. We go to Netflix, NFLX. Not bad. Sideways move, 348 inside Netflix. Uh, Twitter, not that Twitter's been on fire, but 
Twitter uh, going sideways also. $30.54. That also looks like that it wants to run into uh, lower prices. The Let's go over to Walmart. So Walmart uh, is up a buck 22, trading 95 trading 9705. So this is coming into your downdraft from February of 2018. You had big strength when it came out with the numbers the last time in August. Looks like it's going to at least test that, which is, uh, you know, the $100 area. And before we know it, folks, uh, you're going to have markets, uh, bottom line, talking about uh, holiday shopping. You know, so we'll see where the, well, we know that, that the consumer is strong. That's the bottom line. So we'll see how much money we're going to spend. Dow Industrials, down 16. NASDAQ is up 25. S&P is up no 6. No matter right what back. kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real State LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 23. NASDAQ's up 23. S&Ps are up five and a half. And uh, this uh, Hurricane Florence, folks, a uh, big problem. So they are saying right now that the winds um, have hit 130 miles an hour. Uh, which uh, brings that into a Category 4, and that's, uh, of course, one step below uh, the most severe ones that we've seen around here anyway. So uh, you just had parts of uh, North Carolina's outer banks were uh, evacuated. Uh, they are looking, this is pretty intense, they're looking that this can bring in $27 billion in damages, uh, homes, businesses, agriculture, uh, all of the above. Land, landfall, 
Right now, they're speculating uh, somewhere between Charleston, South Carolina, and Norfolk, Virginia. So the scope is still pretty big, according to the National Hurricane Center. Um, this, uh, if in fact uh, this hits, um, this would be the first Category 4 to hit the area since Hugo uh, in 1989, which is pretty intense because it's very unusual for this type of uh, wind velocity uh, to get that close. Uh, you know, bottom line is that uh, Hugo uh, was insane. Um, I don't remember it specifically, but in this article here, it's saying that that came in with the 20 foot uh, storm surge. Uh, storms of the size usually veer away from the U.S., according to uh, University of Colorado Hurricane uh, Research. The track that Florence has taken is very atypical. Uh, there's just really strong ridge building over the top that is going to drive it westward and give it a remarkably favor environment for strengthening, unfortunately. Only three storms have reached this far north, with winds reaching 150 miles an hour, um, period, uh, since it's been tracked. The Hurricane Center has been warning of increased uh, threats from Florence. And if you are in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, the governors have declared emergencies. Natural gas demand in the southeast, uh, they figure, is going to be cut in half. Ports in the region are basically uh, stowing empty containers and preparing to shift to generator power. And uh, bottom line is that. Uh, Get out of harm's way, folks, because that is pretty intense. There's no two ways about that. That's, and I suspect Lowe's is probably up, too. So we had pulled Home Depot up. Yeah, Lowe's is up also. Lowe's is trading $275, uh, $112. And I'm sure they're moving things around very quickly also. Yeah, and Lowe's at an all-time high also. So bring this back a little bit further, actually. So Lowe's, this is, you know, so the different differential between how Lowe's is trading and Home Depot is pretty intense, and this is what it is, folks. When Lowe's came out with the numbers, that was pushing on the highs with dramatically higher volume, 46 million versus 26. Now we're over that, and that's how you like to see um, highs get taken out. If I do go to Home Depot, this had already taken out, yeah, well, this is, yeah, I guess it's pushing, well, let me put it on a weekly. Yeah, no, the difference is, the difference is uh, with Home Depot is that this wasn't pushing with as much volume. It took it out, but the bottom line is that um, this would be really interesting to see what the difference is like in another month or two. Because what we have thus far would be that you had lows, pushing with volume, blowing that high away, versus Home Depot, uh, you just didn't have as many buyers uh, in Home Depot. We're going to take a look at the uh, GDX. GDX still can't catch a bid out here. Right now, you're trading uh, down 28 cents. You're at $17.60. You are coming into uh, the strength that was out there from uh, February of 2016. But guess what? This is... We're getting to a point right now inside this uh, GDX, the HUI, um, the XAU, that, you know, it's like you're going to dive over the cliff. And what I mean specifically is this. Each of them took out the bottom of the consolidation, which was December of 2016. They now are trading into the strength that we had out there in 20, from December 2015 going up to... June, uh, actually August of 2017, of uh, 2016. That was a, you know, if you happen to be in that market then, meaning the metals market, that was quite an expansion, folks. It was a nonstop expansion, went up dramatically. Now we're coming into this area with dramatically lighter volume. That being said, none of these indices have been able to hold price. And it looks to me, I'll show you something. So the one equity, we actually bought this equity today, that has already come into this area and in fact was the first equity to take off out of this area before the other equities was Harmony Gold. Uh, when we took off in 2016, what had happened is this, is that the takeoff part was basically end of December, January. What Harmony Gold had done is that Harmony Gold 
took off right from December 1st. That led out of that whole harmony ended up going from 53 cents up to 4.87 uh, in August. Okay, so it was it was a big run. What Harmony has done is this. Harmony came back to the area, came back to the area with dramatically lighter volume, rejected price, and not had a real sign of strength, but what Harmony has done is that you're going over swing points and you do have volume. You know, a lot, if we take a look at the swing from last week, we did uh, volume of 4.1 million as well as 5.9. We were taken out 3.7 and 4.9. You're, it looks to me like, you know, how many now wants to make a run up to this 210. The intriguing thing goes like this. So technically that's what it did. Fundamentally, it would make sense because if we go over and we take a look at the Rand dollar, the Rand dollar is 15 Rand dollars to one US dollar. Well, six months ago, we were at 11 Rand dollars. Well, they get paid in US dollars, their expenses are in Rand dollars. So when we do take a look at that, I, I can understand that. What's going to be intriguing, and that's why I want to keep an eye on Harmony in a big way, if in fact Harmony can keep going forward, and now let's go to the HUI for a second. And you take a look at the HUI, you're going to see the HUI is also coming back right into the, it looks like we're going to be the, almost to the bottom of this bar where it took off, off from. Uh, in February of 2016, the high was 172, the low is 120. We're at 134 right now. Now what the Gold Bugs Index did do last week is this. It got into, um, let me put it on a weekly. It got down to a price point of 133, closed out the week at 136, and the number that has to get above just to start something is 138. You know, so we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, you put both of those together, meaning that if we do get a rejection, of lower price inside the gold bugs because that's been the least, the weakest actually uh, indice when you take a look at the uh, gold markets. Uh, that's going to be a big heads up. And it makes sense that it's the weakest because what, what you do have is that as these companies are hedging, you know, they can't, they're gonna, they only can hedge a year and a half's worth of gold production inside the HUI versus the XAU. Dow Industrials down 29, Nasdaq up 22, S&P's up four and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow down 38. NASDAQ is up uh, 20. S&P is up 4.5. Let's go take a look at the uh, S&Ps first. So we go take a look at the E-minis. They're trading right now at uh, 28.78. And let's see how these babies uh, look. So let this closer. Okay, so the low out here today is 28.73. You're at 78. Uh, this is going to be the battle right here. So check it out. So 1 o'clock this afternoon, that's when you hit the low out here of the 28.73. Actually, 76. Interesting. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like 28.76. Uh, we're at the 28.79, so the number to keep your eye on is this uh, 28.78.25. And um, if it bounces off that, yeah, you can get a little bounce coming into the close. We go take a look at the NQs, how the NQs are set up. NQs right now are up 14 bucks. We are right now... They look like they're going to finish kind of right where they are, actually. Um, oh, but check this out. Okay, so on the NQs, folks, this is going to get interesting. So right now, we got, uh, what, 15 minutes coming into the close, coming to 4 o'clock at least. Not the future close, but uh, bottom on the uh, NYSE. Uh, what you do have, which is going to be really dangerous tomorrow morning for the NQs, this, when we came down this morning at 10, 10 o'clock, this, this is a high volume low. That's going to that's gonna be tagged. That is a little, that's going to be a big problem for the NQs because the NQs look to me, the way that these are actually trading out, is that you try to get the higher price today, you're not going to have the volume. That's saying that they, they want lower price. And uh, what we will see is that we start kicking into the... Um, week what kind of expansion of volume we have as this tries to uh, get to lower price if we go take a look at the small caps out here not much moving in the small caps the iwm's trading at uh, 17084 and anything over the 17020 uh, still brings you and keeps you in the higher space that's how this uh, thing does shake out you get um, the cannabis companies again, uh, Tilray, that baby is moving once again. It's pretty amazing, these companies. Um, that's up seven, well, it's up eight dollars, so it's up 10 percent. Uh, what you had out here, uh, now this, it, it, what's interesting, let, let me pull this other company up because it, it, they just need news and they, they move. So let's see, cannabis, oh, can trust. Okay, so Can Trust Holdings, this is a, a company trades in the uh, in Canada. The low for the year is 225. The highs 1264. 
They take in revenue. Nine million was the last quarter. And this got a pop out here today. And what this is about, this almost looks like it's just a distributor that's going to do something. So uh, cannabis company Can Trust gains gained 12% after announcing a letter of intent with alcohol beverage broker Breakthrough Beverage Group to market Can Trust products to Canadian consumers. Oh, I see what's going to happen. Oh, this is interesting. So check this out. Oh, this is this is going to be the next deal. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so what we had thus far is this. You've had uh, Constellation Brands go into canopy growth in a big way. You've had uh, Molson looking at cannabis companies to do infused beer. Now, this is a different take on it. So watch, watch all of these booze companies, folks, and beverage companies. They have big distributors, right? That's what this is. So this distributor is going to go from a, a broker of uh, beverages and add on a bro evidently a broker of uh, pot. Let's see what this says. Okay, so breakthrough and invest in a cannabis-focused sales brokerage company. Yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, the sales brokers who work directly with uh, provincial control boards and designated retail outlets were permitted by law. Uh, CanTrust has nanotechnology. Look at, they put all the words in here. That enables us to produce cannabis-infused, oh, okay, beverages, neutral in taste and clear as water, said Brad Rogers in the statement. Breakthrough affiliate will purchase uh, 902,000 common shares for gross proceeds uh, of... 9.2 million with options to produce, uh, to purchase an additional 2 million shares. The deal further strengthens can trust recreational market positioning and is expected to allow it to capture market share in the long term. Um, hey, it's, it's, it's going to be a wild west out there. Man, it already is a wild west. So if we, if we go take a look at uh, CGC, can it be growth out here today? That's trading flat, hanging at the highs though. You're at 52, 31. The all-time high at this is 56. You know, so bottom line is that, uh, that's, and that I believe that date is going to be October 16th. That's where uh, it, it marijuana is going to be legal in the country of Canada. So big numbers, no doubt. Let's go take a look at. Uh, Royal Gold, so Royal Gold trading at a price point, 73.47. Now this was, you know, no doubt still, still at highs compared to the rest of the gold and silver equities. And if we bring this in, we're coming, this is where the problem is for it. So it's trading into the May 27. 2017 strength. The top of that is 77, bottom is 69. We're at 73.47. It's like a real toss up here, you know. Uh, you get much deeper into this bar, you know, you're three and a half bucks right now. Actually, it's pretty easy for this to go down to 69. That's kind of how this shakes out. Uh, you get into it, we're, we're contracting in volume in a huge way, but bottom line is that when you, when you are halfway into a bar, coming down, that normally says, guess what, you're going to the bottom of that bar. We go take a look at Exxon Mobil, Chevron inside the oil business. Um, Exxon right now trading 81.85. Uh, Chevron, yeah, Chevron wants a lower price. So it's up 13 cents, but the way Chevron's trading, this is, this is Chevron wants to go after this, $110, you're at 114. Yeah, that's, and this is, that number, uh, oh, that's the February 9th number, unreal. So, right here, this is going to be a trip, because February 9th, Chevron never got tested, $108, and that baby is sticking out like a sore thumb. I'm curious what Lamb Research did, LRCX, because Lamb was going right after its high volume low from February 9th, and... Hasn't taken it out yet, so 
The high volume low, 156.83, you hit 158. It's gonna go after it this week. Now, that's gonna be a big heads up inside the chip business, because if we take that out, you're gonna see chips continue lower. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 52. You get the Nasdaq up 17. S&P's up 3.5. Market's having a tough time uh, holding any type of price out here. If we do go take a look at the Dow uh, Industrials, so uh, price spread out here, you know, nothing huge, but uh, bottom line is that uh, you had a good uh, 26,039 was the high. So uh, you got about 150 point, uh, 170 point uh, price spread from the highs to the lows out here today. Uh, what we will have is that to try to get to a higher high, didn't, couldn't handle it. Got a failure on price, failure on volume. Uh, we'll see how it uh, handles this tomorrow morning when it starts going after the uh, 25,800. Right now, you're at 25,863. If we do go over and we take a look at the uh, E-minis, we we're talking about those uh, E-minis out here. The bottom line is that uh, what you do have is that the low out here for today uh, was running in uh, at, uh, what, at 12 o'clock this afternoon at 28.77. Right now we're at 28.78.50. Um, it's kind of, it wants to run into that area coming into the close. Small caps, IWM, uh, they, they're still hanging at the highs. IWM is uh, still up 18 cents. 
won this 70-70, and that baby has to get uh, underneath 170-20. The NDX 100, you get a sideways move, got light volume, uh, all of the above. Uh, what it looks like uh, coming out, coming into this close out here is that uh, you're going to see us uh, build some cars uh, overnight. Uh, this baby wants to go after a uh, lower price. And, uh, you know, inside, it's subtle, but what you do have is what one of the culprits inside that NDX is Apple. Apple is down only 3 bucks. Bottom line, that's not a huge amount for a $218 stock. Nothing at all, actually. Uh, but what you are seeing with Apple is that we'll get an expansion of volume as we're running lower which is very unusual in the aspect that Apple's going to be coming out with their big announcements, big marketing plan, all of the above uh, this coming Wednesday. You know, looks like they're selling the news before the fact. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with some numbers after the close. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 58. NASDAQ is up 17. S&P is up 3.5. We're coming right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh. we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Tim from Minneapolis. We're going to take him by storm. Take it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. Yeah. But holy, I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. You are only responsible for your half of a relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're only responsible for your half of the relationship. It's not up to you to control the other half. Respect the other half, and there's always going to be peace in that relationship. Muggerize! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 59, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up 4.5. What you had out here today, folks, is that you had the Dow basically give it up in price, couldn't handle higher price. Uh, NDX 100, NASDAQ, S&P's sideways move. Gold contract flat, $1,200.80. Silver flat, $14.07. Light sweet crude, down 24 cents, $67.51 a barrel. If we go take a look at the oil contract, we'll just see you had oil get up into the uh, price point out here of 68.52. Bottom line, couldn't handle price. Moved down into the 67.50, uh, got the 68.52, came off a buck, 67.52, had light volume,
Bottom line, this oil contract wants to get into a lower price. It looks like it may be a small ABC structure on the way down that'll bring it into the 63 area. And that in the light of the uh, Florence uh, barreling into the Carolina coast, gonna send a lot of white light out there. Uh, that is going to be quite a hurricane, so uh, buckle up, folks, and, those, uh, and get out of harm's way, because uh, that baby uh, is coming in fast and furious. Notes and bonds. You had the 10-year note, flat, 119.21. 30-year bond, up six ticks, 143.17. Now, in both cases, they rejected lower price. They did have lighter volume. Uh, now what you're going to have to, uh, now what they're going to have to do uh, is build some cars in, a, in order to repair the damage that was done last Friday when they came barreling down. Uh, if we go take a look at the 10-year uh, note first, what you're going to see inside this 10-year note is that last Friday we went from a price point of 120.07 to 119.19. You were coming into the strength. Now, the strength out there was that the bottom was 119, 119. Uh, so the negative is that you came down with monster volume. You never like to see that if you want higher price, lower yields. The positive out here today is that we got underneath that area with dramatically lighter volume. We did uh, 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 807,000 contracts versus the one, two million contracts uh, on Friday. So we'll see uh, if it can build some cars. Because what we also have happening out here, I want to wish uh, all our brothers and sisters uh, happy Rosh Hashanah out here. Um, that um, normally slows down trading a bit. Inside the NYSE, we did uh, 717 million shares. Um, you know, and that's, that's, that's pretty good share volume, actually, for, you know, basically a holiday. Uh, NASDAQ Composite did 2 million shares. And uh, the uh, dollar index just couldn't handle higher price. Uh, dollar uh, bottom line, uh, trading at 95, 115. And if we do go take a look at that U.S. dollar, what you're going to see is that uh, that also tried to get the higher price, couldn't handle it, comes back down. The intriguing part about this, so, so look, look, this is pretty amazing, folks. Since May 29th, we have basically been in the same area, excluding... When we broke topside August 10th, and we stayed topside until August 21st, you know there was a there was a true breakout there, true breakout. Got back inside it. We did come back inside it with volume. So bottom line is that this is where the fight is set up, and the fight's pretty extraordinary uh, at this area. If we go take a look at the continuous contract inside the dollar index, bring this up on a longer basis so you can get a better idea of just where we are, is that. The, what the dollar had done is that the dollar was, took about uh, eight weeks to get over the 95 price point. The 95 price point was the October 2016 highs. Um, that being said, you're still into some heavy-duty flack here. And um, there's really not a reason that it can't go topside. Um, the sellers, a seller is laying there in a big way. You know, so we'll see where this shakes out. It looks to me that, you know, we're building cars at this particular point to try to get back into where the, the true strength was inside the dollar, and that's that June 14th area. Uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities out here today uh, in a market that didn't have that much volume. You had uh, Advanced Micro, uh, they love trading that stock. That was up $2.50 for a $30 stock. We had uh, an Apple. Apple was the culprit inside the NDX 100 today, bringing it lower, putting pressure on the Dow Industrials also. It was down $2.97. Apple's coming out with their announcements of new phones, watches, all of the above coming Wednesday. Bottom line is that Apple looks like it wants a lower price, so they have their str struggles ahead of them. Uh, Snap. Snap was down $0.19, cents, trading $9.74. That's going to have big problems. So let's go look at Snap for a second, because what you do have is this, is that... This snap went, let's see when it went public first. So this went public, this is an all-time low right now for the year. So this went public March of 2017 at $17. What you have out here right now is that you, well, yeah, there's going to be nothing below this. Yeah, there's nothing below this. And news-wise, what you had out here 
um, is the chief strategy officer, uh, and he's one of the few remaining leaders that took the public company, uh, the, the company public in 2017. He just left to start his own investment firm. Bottom line, folks, um, they're bailing. They're, and if he's one of the few left, that is problematic in a huge way. Uh, if we take a look at revenue models inside SNAP, um, 2015, SNAP was taking in 58 million. They claim um, they, they want to take in 1.2 billion this year. Uh, still losing money hand over fist. So, yeah, you can bring the uh, amount of gross coming up, but guess what? What are you going to do for me? What are you going to put in my pocket? Well, guess what? In SNAP's case, they last year they lost 61 cents a share. This year they're going to lose 60 cents a share. Next year they're saying they're going to lose 45 cents a share. Bottom line, you're going to have to have an awful lot of money and huge deep pockets. And guess what? If the tree strategy officer is leaving, what does that say? That says, guess what? Strategy's not working, folks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow finished down 59. NASDAQ up 21. S&P's up 5.5. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Sonus. Uh, so let's see what this company. So uh, Sonus, they design, develop, uh, produce audio products. The company's uh, 
music players, oh, I, yeah, sure, Sonus, okay, so we know what, with wireless speakers, the whole ball of wax. The low for the year is $15.51, highs $23.60, closed at $21.24. This is trade 1990 right now, so let's see what they had to say. Okay, so the revenue estimate had been $207 million. They made $208 million. Uh, the third quarter uh, earnings per share was a loss, $0.45. Cents. Um, they see year revenue at the estimate had been $1.1 billion. Now they're at $1.1 to... They're at the lower end, 1.109 versus 1.114. Um, let's take a look at this. So when did this go public? This went public. I see. This just went public. What a trip. Okay, so this went public August 1st at $15. Revenue model wise, wow, takes a lot of revenue, and no doubt. So, say they're, they're, they're looking to take in 1.1 billion this year, but even at 1.1 billion, they are going to lose money this year and next year. Pretty amazing, man. You know what's amazing is that when you, when you look at some of these companies, um, they can lose money for a long period of time as long as the, that they have uh, some deep pockets. Um, to get market share, and then bottom line is that they can, you know, see if they can get something going. Um, here's a story for you. This is, thanks Z for the story. Now, we haven't seen a gold story like this for a long period of time, and this is something else here. I'd love to see the, what this piece looks like. So, this is a, a Toronto miner unearthed boulder that contains 9,000 ounces of gold in Australia. Uh, so this one piece of rock, folks, is worth approximately 15 million. But listen to this. Watch how this thing goes. Rare is the story of modern mining company that unexpectedly strikes a mother load of gold. Uh, but Toronto-based junior mining company Royal Nickel, so it's, it wasn't even a gold company, announced Sunday night that in, in its employees in Australia at the Beta Hunt Mine, which the company has been trying to sell since April, removed a golden boulder like few in the world with a single cube of earth that measured roughly three meters wide and three meters long and three meters deep so one square they found nine thousand ounces of gold including two large lumps all told worth 14 to 15 million at current prices that's the equivalent of, of listen to this one this is this is crazy let me see i gotta put this up on this side so i can r and x so I can do two at the same time, CN, okay. Okay, so this is, this equivalent, that's equivalent to roughly 40% of Royal Nickel's market capitalization as of last week. It was a nickel mine for years and years. Um, Mark Selby, chief executive uh, of RNC, but we bought it because there was a bunch of gold deposits sitting beneath it. Giant Diamonds has been mining's one success story this year. Meet the Canadian miner that plans to shake up the nickel industry. Royal Gold stock surged 83% to $0.16 cents on the Toronto Stock Exchange. To put the latest find into perspective, the Beta Hunt mine normally produces ore that contains around 2 to 4 grams of gold per tonne. Consider the standard amount, but the latest find contains 2,000 grams of gold per ton. Uh, they broke off one 95-kilogram stone that contained an estimated 2,440 ounces of gold, according to the company. He said it was so pure it did not need to be processed and was sent directly to the Perth Mint. This is wild, man. According to the, the World Gold Council, the largest ever true gold nugget weighed slightly more than 2,300 ounces. RNC's specimen contains some quartz, however, and it may not count as a, a apple for apple comparison. They'll probably sell it at a museum place and they'll 
uh, make a fair bit uh, of money. The company will likely sell the specimen stone to a museum, according to an analyst. He said the real question, unanswerable without much information, is whether the gold comes from a vein that will qu quickly pinch out or whether it stays wide. RNC purchased the mine in 2016 for a mix of cash and its own shares worth around $12.5 million. Located in Western Australia, about 600 kilometers from Perth, it has been a nickel mine since the 70s. RNC is trying to sell it since April so it can focus on raising $1 billion to build uh, the planned Dumont nickel mine in Quebec. Selby, who lives in Toronto, said he, he heard the news when he woke up in the middle of the night last Monday to use the bathroom. I flip on my phone and find out he says I didn't go back to bed. You don't find 2,000 ounces uh, hunks every day. The Australian news channel ABC reported that the miners were working underground at 500 meters below the surface. Uh, Henry Doe, the miner credited with finding the gold, said, never in my life have I seen anything like this. There were chunks of gold in the face, on the ground, truly unique, I reckon. Pretty wild, man. Now, what, what, you, what, what is going to happen here, folks, I'm going to pull up this map on the next uh, break, because this is what is going to happen. Um, Western Australia, so Australia, the, 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 the huge gold deposits around the world, you know, you, you get Australia, you have South Africa, you have United States, uh, you have Canada, uh, you have uh, Africa, Western Africa. This, where this is, uh, you can, I can guarantee you that uh, a lot of these miners tonight um, are not going to be uh, sleeping for quite a bit because what they're going to be looking for, the geologists are going to be looking for, is this an actual vein? And if it's a vein, you're talking about a whole different ball game. And, you know, and how wide is that vein? You know, because if you, if you look at how gold is found, what normally happens is this. And this is why, you, you know, so picture, you, you have huge mountains, the bottom of the mountains, you have the streams, and when we look at all the old pictures of gold mining, okay, you see everyone in the streams, basically going through the streams, sifting the water and the dirt to see. Because what happens is this, is that the, over the course of hundreds of thousands of years, all the rain, everything else is pushing all of the metals down into when that's when gold is on the outside and they keep pushing the dirt down. In this particular case, what you're going to have, they, the, the 500 feet is nothing. They would say 500 feet? I think it said 500 feet. Yeah. Maybe even 500 meters is nothing. It's still only 1,500 feet. Um, what they're going to be looking for, they're going to be looking for okay, is there a vein and is there another mine that's close to this somewhere? And there'll be a scramble. There'll be a scramble. I suspect that this mine will not be for sale uh, right now if someone called up uh, to, and b bought it. And if it is for sale, folks, then there's something wrong with the story. But I'm sure it doesn't look to me like something wrong with the story. You can't fake a 9,000 ounce of gold 3 by 3 by 3 Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of 
commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Where do you see this? Yeah, let me bring this over here. This is something else. So if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, right? I got, let's see. This she is. I got a picture of this chunk of rock. It is incredible. It really is. So you talk about a piece of ore. Oh, holy cow. Um, it's something else. It's no doubt. Uh, and then what I did is that I took, I took a map. This is pretty amazing, actually. If you happen to be now, if you if you're not watching Tiger TV, folks, remember that you can go right on your cell phone. You go to YouTube, and you just put TFNN on the search bar. As you do that, just hit subscribe. All the programs um, are, are right there. They're live every day. Um, you know, it's free. Um, great way to, to take us any way you want. Uh, but when you see these pictures, this is like incredible, actually. It really is like over the top. These look like the three guys that they're three separate pieces, and it's like it's just it's hard to comprehend uh, that these things are that big, but they are. So the next next one you're going to see is I got a picture of where it is in Western Australia, and then the next one I'm going to have to do more. I'm going to do Western Australia. Well, I'll do a little more work on that because there's, there's plenty of other um, companies doing business there, but that is one monster to find. There's no two ways about it. And the real question is going to be if that was just done last night, uh, what else uh, is at that mine? We haven't had, I don't remember something like that. In, oh, my God. The mother load, you, you just don't even see it anymore. That's, that's, that's the reality. It's just, just not there. 877-927-6648. Amazon. We talk about the mother load. Uh, Amazon out here today, what you're doing with Amazon is this. Amazon is pushing into the lows of last week. We did uh, a 4.4 million today. You're pushing it to 7 million. Now, it didn't, it, it, it stayed at its lower price. The lower price being uh, the 1935, 1940 uh, price point. So that's saying that it does want to try to get down into this 1880 area. Um, if we go take a look at the uh, Google, where Google's uh, sh trading out right now, Google's did the exact same thing. Google's off its highs of uh, 1273. You're 1164. Um, you know, 1186. Oh, excuse me, folks. 1186. Once it got under 1186, 
um, that that basically sets up that it can get right into this uh, 1141 area. So there's not a lot of strength uh, in this market right now for much higher price. Uh, what we did see out here today, unfortunately, um, that, well, not unfortunate if you own Home Depot, all those, uh, the stocks that were moving out here today, folks, basically were moving on Florence coming into the east coast of the United States. Because um, what, you, what you have out here um, is that, you know, Home Depot went up $4.46, has volume behind the move, uh, took out its uh, highs, Lowe's did the same thing. Uh, Lowe's uh, up $2.80 here at $112.39. And of course, what that's going to be all about uh, is the aspect of um, how much um, they think, number one, that Florence is going to destroy, and number two, how much has to be replaced and how fast it has to get replaced. Uh, it's it's going to be a big number. There's, there's no two ways about that. Uh, this, is, uh, this, this date today, um, you talk about... Well, it doesn't seem like a fast 10 years, but a bottom line is this is when Lehman went down 10 years ago, folks. If you were around then, uh, that was a monster day, no doubt. Uh, you know, Lehman Brothers uh, had been around forever. Bottom line, they decided not to save it. They cut the, um, <laughs> they cut the cord, and the cord that they cut uh, was the uh, cord to the Federal Reserve uh, to bail them out. And that was after, you know, a couple other companies did get bailed out. They decided uh, in the Lehman case that, was, that wasn't going to fly. And what did happen, which is pretty amazing, is that the folks that did buy those assets, of course, we know those assets came back and came back in spades. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing that uh, we, we have the aspect of um, high-yield bonds. High-yield bonds bottom line went from nothing, um, and even last few months, high yield bonds basically uh, are, st are still up there, you know, so uh, timing is the whole deal, and perseverance, staying power, staying power is the, is the, no is the number one deal out here, and uh, they decided that uh, we're going to take them south, and of course, what you did have, uh, even after the fact, is that, okay, you had uh, Paulson, who is... The treasury at that treasurer at that point, point ex CEO of Goldman Sachs. You know, I'm sure that uh, there was a lot of angst in general uh, about the, how that whole thing came down. Because what did happen is that I suspect when that what went on, they didn't think that the contagion would be so dramatic. And then it was. And then what they had to do is that they had to step in and save AIG. I believe that was. The next, either tomorrow or the next day, uh, because what had ended up happening is that when that went down, everything blew apart. And then, I suspect when they were doing that, they thought they're going to let a couple more companies go. And guess what? There is no way, because that thing was way too fast, too furious, and that would have been a, a total a blow up. Uh, yeah, it was, because then this is what ended up happening. I actually have this chart up right now. And so then what, what you actually got out of this, yeah, AIG got the pop right after that. It came down, it came down heavy. Um, and then bottom line is that they came in, they were going to save, they did save AIG. That's, that's the bottom line. And in that particular case also, uh, <laughs> I suspect we're going to be, there's going to be still a few more court cases that are around. In fact, I haven't heard about that AIG uh, for, for a bit, uh, because what, what did happen is that Hank Greenberg was still fighting uh, with uh, the government all about it. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the chip market. So the chip market right now is in trouble. Uh, Intel has just gone last three months from $57 to 46 this is a cyclical market, always been a cyclical market. We've been on a, a, a tear in a huge way going all the way back uh, from 2009. That being said, when we broke out in October of 2017, it looks like we're making our way back there. When we broke out, uh, we went from 38 to 45. Intel did. Intel's at 46 right now. You came off the high. That high four months ago was 57. 
Uh, if we do look at uh, NVIDIA, was one of the chip stocks that brought all the chip stocks up to highs. And in this particular case, that's still laying at a high. The one to watch is going to be LAM Research. Let's see. And the reason being is this. LAM, folks, had come high over a year and a half ago. It's laying right next to the high volume low from February. We closed today at 159.49. 156 is the number. That's going after it. If we break it, get out of the way, man. Big problems. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we had the uh, Dow finish down 59, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up uh, 5.5. Let's go over to Europe and take a look at the uh, UK first. So uh, UK out here today, flat market. FTSE is at uh, 72.79. This is off the ties of uh, 7,900. And uh, when you do take a look at this, how we're basically pulling down this baby. Um, let me pull it back a little bit further, actually. Yeah, this baby's going after, uh, you know, the, the lows that were established out here in uh, March of uh, this year. You know, the high of that low is uh, 7,100. Uh, the low is 68. We go take a look at the DAX in Germany. Uh, DAX in Germany out here is basically going after 
uh, the lows of six months ago. I see the DAX in Germany is already there. Okay, so the DAX in Germany is something you really, we really want to keep an eye on, and this is why. So the DAX in Germany has been in a consolidation since April of 2017. Lows of that uh, consolidation, 11,700. We're 11,986 right now. Big number. The Asia, different ball game. Uh, well, when I say different ball game, uh, Asia is not only going after lows. Uh, Hang Seng, Shanghai, uh, big numbers, and it looks like it wants to blow them away. Uh, what you have with uh, the Hang Seng right now, we are trading at a price point of 26.16. We came down from 3,200. If we take a look at this and we put this on uh, a much longer basis, we came back inside the lower range once we got back inside 28,000. That is setting up um, approximately 23,900. You know, so um, decent numbers on the way down and what you do have is this so we have a huge amount of chinese stocks that trade in our s p um well not necessarily the s p in our markets in general uh each and every time that those babies um are getting hit in china well guess what we open up in the morning and they get hit you know if we just take a look uh last night uh c trip c trip uh, bottom line that's been in trouble anyway. It's $36.85. That's an all-time low right now for the last year. 36 is the low, 56 is the high. Uh, this, is, this came down fast and furious from this uh, 56 mark. If we take a look at this and you put this back on a monthly basis, what you're going to see is that this is just on the verge of getting back inside also a lower range. You know, it looks to me like uh, C-Trip wants to get down to the $25 area. Um, it, has, it does have volume coming off the highs also. Uh, what I expect you're probably going to see if you, you know, all the news reports today were uh, basically reporting that uh, when Trump had tweeted out that, um, that our GDP, uh, which is 4.2% on the last quarter, uh, was over our unemployment rate, which is 3.9 for the last 100 years. Uh, well, what I suspect you're going to see out here by tomorrow, folks, is that you'll see that corrected, uh, because that is not a fact. <laughs> our, our GDP uh, has been over unemployment uh, rate over 20% of the time in the last 70 years, and that number was actually 10 years, not 100 years. You know. So either someone gave him the wrong uh, information or he put another zero uh, on that number. But that number was widely uh, touted out there. And I expect, uh, you know, we'll see. we'll see if we get a correction on it. But the bottom line is that that number wasn't real. Hi, some of the high volume stocks out here today, Advanced Micro. Well, let's go to Advanced Micro. I want to take a look at this, actually. This stock is always right at the very top of the volume each and every day. So the low for the year is nine dollars. The high is twenty-nine. We're right at it. Yeah, and this still has this still has volume behind it. This is pretty amazing, actually. So, and this is a semiconductor, man. This is a, this is a semiconductor that evidently is growing, and they're buying revenue model wise. It's not like it's, you know. They plan on doing 6.7 billion this year, which is a monster, no doubt about it. But when you actually look at the numbers, I see what's going on. Okay, so they're at a high enough number. So 2014, they did 5.5 billion. 2018, 6.7. That's what they're looking to do. The differential is pretty dramatic, though, when what came to the bottom line. Because last year, uh, 2017, they made 17 cents to the bottom line. This year, 45. They expect to do an additional almost 45% to the bottom line next year. So that's when things get paid for. They are doing enough volume, evidently, that market-wise, it's out there. And look what it's going to go after. Pretty amazing. So this has been a dog, actually, because 2006, it was at $42. It's a big ABC up. Okay, so the A point on this was a dollar sixty-five. The B, interesting, fifteen fifty. So you get all of uh, fourteen dollars, 
which is $24. So this is doing more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way up. We'll have to do those numbers later. But that's, that's what this is. It was an ABC up, took a B point out, took the B point out in June of this year. 1.6 billion versus 1.5. Yeah, just did it. Just took it out. So, you know, it, what's interesting here is that because we came down so quick in 2006, let me pull this back a little bit further. I see. Interesting. So, 2000, in 2000, traded 48. This actually has a shot. Now, so this is going to be cool watching this one. This is why. 2000, you have a high, high price point of $48. Stock crashes in 2002 to $3.10. 2006 goes to $42. Stock crashes to $1.62. 2000. 18, 19, well, 2019 maybe, it's 18 now. The real question is going to be, does it make a higher high or does it stop before it? Because this is an equity that if, if this equity stopped before the high of 2006, your probability goes much higher that that is the end of the chip run and then you're going to see equity go south once again because this is, this is pretty consistent. And the chip business is a cyclical business, folks, okay? It's like the commodity business. Now, this run here has been extraordinary, there's no doubt. If we go over to Micron Tech and we take a look at Micron, I remember this so well because the, the guy that owned it uh, was a potato baron. And, you know, when you take a look at this, how this stock traded, it was unbelievable. If I bring this back to 2000, you're going to see it was at, uh, well, here, I'll bring it back. I've got to bring it back even further than this. There we go. Okay, so we, if we go back to 1993, it was at $3. 1999, it's up to 47. Oh, no, 1994. 1996, it's down to $8. Goes sideways. At the peak of the NASDAQ, it went up to $97. It went straight. It started going up straight in 1998. Pictures $10 stock in 1998. In 2000, it's at 97. In 2003, it's at six dollars. Stays at that level, makes a low going out there in 2008, a dollar 59. Takes off to 36. <laughs> Pulls back to nine dollars, takes off again to 64. Gotta love it. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we go take a look at this uh, dollar out here tonight. So uh, what you can expect inside the dollar is that uh, right now the, the index is trading out at the uh, 95, 120 mark. What we did out here today is it tried to get into the highs of last week, couldn't handle price, had volume on the way down. We're at 95, 120. This consolidation has been out here uh, since May. Um, we'll see uh, how this uh, baby handles itself uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, what I expect we're going to do, let's go to the yen for a second, because uh, the yen in Japan will be one of the first ones that uh, open um, a few hours from now. We're at 111.12 uh, inside the yen, and anything under 111.40 uh, is saying that the yen first wants to go test the 110 to 109 area. Uh, so pretty, pretty wild how that baby's set up. If we go into the UK and then we take a look at uh, the British pound, uh, bottom line is that it looks to me like the British pound's off the lows. A British pound in six months went from 143 pounds to one dollar uh, down into 126. Um, you had a sign of strength on the 29th of August. We had an additional sign of strength on the 5th of September. That's saying to me that uh, British pounds now is going to try to make it back up to 133. You get juice there, and then that little uh, British pound uh, looks like it's going to be uh, off to the races. And more than likely, it's going to be all about Brexit. You got to remember something. The British pound, folks, in 2007, it was 2.11 to one U.S. dollar. So if you want to go to Britain, <laughs> go right now, because it's pretty amazing that when you think you have 2.11 to one U.S. dollar, you got down to 1.18 Cut in half, absolutely in half. That was, that was in 2010, I think. No, 2016, that was 2016. Bottom line, you come tested it, looks to me like that baby uh, is off its lows. The real question is gonna be uh, the US dollar in the correlation of other currencies. Are they gonna basically, um, the other currencies get stronger versus the dollar getting weaker. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need is right inside us. Let's have a blast with it. Look forward to speaking to right back here. Jason, 8.30 in the morning, join him. Great program. I'll get them, folks. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Calm.